So it's been about three weeks since I first installed the hot tub and, and managed to get in it. And I've had a bit of a... And I've kind of changed my mind. And I like it. <laughs> I did find it a bit of a pain to start with and the temperature, like outside temperature was way too hot. It was during a heat wave and getting into a hot tub on a heat wave when I don't like to be hot wasn't really the best idea. So now the temperature's dropped back down again um, to the point where if I stood up now wet I'd probably be quite chilly. Um, but in the hot tub, yeah, it feels really good and I've got the hang of the chemicals. So I know now that for the amount of water I've got in here I need about two and a half teaspoons of chlorine and then one and a half teaspoons of pH plus and the alkalinity just seems to be fine no matter what I do. Um, so yeah, in the morning or lunchtime I come out, I test the water um, and I adjusted a little bit today because I had done the chemicals yesterday but didn't use the hot tub so there was still a little bit of chlorine in the water so I didn't do quite as much this time, um, this morning, as I normally do. So yeah, I'm, I've kind of got the hang of the chemicals now and I guess the main annoyance is taking the cover and the lid off <laughs> because it's kind of awkward to do the uh, lid on your own and having somewhere to put it where it doesn't get dirty. It's currently over there propped against the wall, sitting on top of the thermal cover. So it's down there. So yeah, I guess that's probably the main annoyance, is doing the... it just sunk. <laughs> um, is taking the thermal cover off and then the lid off, and then having to do the same again. There's seagulls around here. Uh, also, while we're on that topic, I've got a sun sail up there. I don't know how well you can see that. So we've got a... Uh, We've got a roof. <laughs> and it's for two reasons really. The first being that I'd like to be out here when it's raining and not get rained on. And also the birds, the seagulls, tend to drop lumps of moss and poo down here. So I don't want that to get in the hot tub, especially whilst I'm in here. Um, and it's already doing its job. There's a, a lump of moss right there. I've also bought a pool vacuum. So the crumbs, the, the little bits of gravel that get in the bottom that the filter can't pick up because they're not floating, I can suck them up with a little vacuum, which is really handy because uh, all the videos I was seeing with people having to actually completely empty all the water out, tip it on its side and then hose around to get the bits out, which is a huge waste of water and time, whereas the vacuum is just really quick. It was about £89 in Tex one, not sponsored, um, off of Amazon and it works perfectly, so it was a good investment. Um, I will say is these, way too hard, don't like them, not comfy, do not like, will not buy again. These ones, soft ones, love them, they're great, they're comfy and uh, when you do get a bit overheated and they're damp, if you lean against them, I couldn't find it. Um, it's nice and cool on the back of your neck because it's damp and cold. So yeah, those are good. Also these ones, the cushions that are filled with water, definitely need those for a hot tub like this that doesn't have seats. Um, the floor is slightly cushioned and on a rubber mat it's, still, it's also cushioned, but um, it's much nicer having these little cushions to sit on. And also for shorter people it sort of um, pushes you out of the water a little bit. Since I'm setting up the hot tub I haven't topped up any water. Um, multiple occasions we've had three people in here at the same time um, and that did cause some water to bubble out when the jets were on um, and with one person it's kind of low down to, it's down to there um, so I could could do with a bit more water in, the, in here for just me but I don't want to add any in right now because it would make it colder um, the Heater is on 38 degrees, although I've just turned up to 39 because I think it's actually, it would, it could do with being a little bit warmer. What I do is I turn it off when I've finished for the night and then I don't turn it on again until the next day if I'm going to use it that day. The temperature from 38, or well, 37-ish me getting out overnight uh, by 
lunchtime it's only gone down to about 34 so when I put it back on again even at lunch by the time night time comes around it's seven half seven at the moment p.m. Um, it's back up to 38 degrees so it's not dropping very much at the moment in the summer um, so the temperature's holding quite well with the thermal cover on and even when I left it I didn't use it for two weeks one full week yeah it's about two weeks I didn't use it for I mean I've only had it for three weeks and I haven't really used it that much <laughs> I used it three days three days in a row when I first set it up um, and then I had I didn't turn it on that following week at all um, and then came around to the next weekend was when I turned it back on again and it dropped to I think by the end of it 24 degrees and that was where it stopped and that was right at the end of the two weeks so it did really hold the heat in really well so yeah I don't bother having the temp the heater on during the night because it doesn't need it and um, doesn't need to keep c kicking in to keep the temperature at that heat overnight not in the summer anyway it might change during the winter but I'm going to show you my pool vacuum now uh, another thing that I thought was a really good idea, which I didn't think of initially, is a little table storage thing beside here because the chemicals were always in the garage, so I'd have to go um, unlock the garage and go in there and get all the chemicals and then come out here, which was one of the things that was annoying me. <laughs> I just want everything to be right here so I could just do it and then back in the house again. Um, so I got this. It's a little outdoor storage box and it's also a seat. This is off of Amazon as well. Yeah, it's strong enough to sit on it. And uh, I've got the chemicals here. I've got a jug and a spoon for mixing them with water. I've got a sponge because I did have to clean algae off one time when I didn't check the chlorine soon enough and it went all green and slimy. So I had to do a double shock of the water to kill that all off and luckily the next day when I checked, slimy sliminess had gone, green was gone, it was back to normal. So there's um, there's another filter and this is the vacuum. It only works under water. You turn this on and then <laughs> there's a little black thing under the water there and then gone. you can see me but I today I installed some new lights to the sale so I already had these strung up along the fence and then this one in the hot tub and then these <laughs> setting up here because these ones go a bit crazy. These ones only have one setting and that's or two settings on or on off on off <laughs> so it just goes blank in between um, no light which was rubbish so I just left them on. These ones have got eight different settings so this is and there's two up there so I've got the, the solar sticks up there there's three for the three separate lights and there's two on the sale and those two have got eight settings so I need to tweak them so that they don't do seizure lights so 
a bit nicer to look at. Um, so I'm about to get very cold. Go over there and press the buttons and see what happens. And then I feel, I feel really good getting back in here. It is properly dark now and I've adjusted the lights so the ones in the middle going across the sail go fade on and off and the ones around the outside do this. So they do a slow transition and then they do a fast transition. And yeah, there's a barking dog across the road. That is so cool. <laughs> it looks so cool in here. I just love how you get the reflected light up on there as well. That's why I wanted a white sail, or well, a creamy sail. One so that when you're out in the day, it feels quite light and doesn't feel like you're um, inside a cave. I want it to feel like you're still outside. Um, and also so that this light would reflect up onto the ceiling. And it does. <laughs> It's really cool. I love it. These ones took a lot longer to come on than those ones. I've got some of the lights in the front garden as well and they came on about the same time as those did. These ones waited until it was almost completely dark before they came on. Um, I don't know how this looks. I can see in the little screen but I don't know how well my camera does in very low light. I can see the ISO because I've got it on auto and the ISO adjusts to how much light you've got, whether it needs to boost the light source. And I can see it going up and down when this turns to white light because that's nice and bright and it doesn't need to boost it so much with the ISO. So yeah, this is my... That's someone dragging a bin, if you can hear that. Uh, it's bin day today. It's <laughs> all the lovely noises. But I should have some company over the weekend in here. But it is nice just to relax. It's so relaxing and I can do some exercise in here, which is unexpected. I can use these. They are so uncomfortable as headrest, but they float really well. So if you if you hook it under your ankle, then you can float and then you can use them as resistance and then sort of pedal under the water as if you've got like armbands on your ankles. Do I recommend getting hot up? I haven't checked the bills yet, so I don't know how much it's costing to run this. I'm not having it on during the night, so that's saving some money. The fact the filter's always running, because I don't want it to get slimy and green in here. Um, and also, I still need to do chemicals every day. Um, the cost of running, I don't know yet. It's not been a month um, of using it. Um, I've had it on nine days out of the last three weeks so it's not been on all that much um the heater that is so i don't know whether the cost of it is worth having a hot tub I should face this way get better lighting um some of this is going to look hideous like the green light <laughs> uh yeah um that blue light is not flattering that's not particularly flattering either should face this way again so yeah, the, the cost of running a hot tub, I don't know if it's worth it yet. Um, that'll be something to consider when the electric bill comes in. <laughs> um, but if, you, if you've got space and you can afford the cheaper one like this, this was um, £600 for the hot tub, just the hot tub. Everything else, like the cushions, uh, even that light, I had to buy separately. Um, and the rubber mat I had to buy separately. And all of this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you can afford it and you're interested in it and you want something to relax in, then yeah, I'd say it was worth it for me. I'm glad I got hot. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful if you're thinking about getting a hot tub. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I love it. I, I think I'm more excited about my light show than the hot tub.